Hello guys, it's me, King Mums, and today I'm bringing you my Jump Force Season 2 DLC prediction list. Basically, I'm going to be explaining what characters I think are going to be in Season 2 DLC this year for Jump Force. And I uh, also just want to say that, you know, in case you didn't know, Season 2 was announced by Bandai themselves via the, the last gameplay trailer with Law and Grimjow that they released on all their social media platforms. It also corresponds with a data mine that was conducted by Sergio M3 whose YouTube video I'll have linked in the description below by the way. Sergio found 5 extra image files in the DLC section of the code of Junk Force via the PC version of course. So because of this let's assume that we're only gonna get 5 DLC characters for the second season just for the sake of this prediction list as the image files are obviously just placeholders for the future DLC I also don't think we're going to get the same amount of DLC for season 2 like we did with season 1 as we've seen with Dragon Ball Fighters, and especially since Spike Chunsoft are also working on the new One Punch Man game a hero nobody knows and that game is also coming out very soon but hopefully we will get more than 5 characters at least I don't think we're going to get nine characters like we did with season one I'm, I'm thinking at least seven or six hopefully eight but um yeah we're just gonna have to wait and see but um yeah without any further ado let's get right into it Okay, so the first character on my prediction list is Katakuri from One Piece. And the reason why I feel like he's going to be one of the characters for Season 2 is due to the recent hype of the fight between him and Luffy, which happened a year ago in the anime. A lot of hype was generated, a lot of, a lot of fans really fell in love with Katakuri. Not just because of the fight, but also his character. And I've also, like, I've just seen online and social media everywhere, like, everyone, like, literally every One Piece fan that plays Jump Force wants Katakuri to be the next DLC character for Jump Force in Season 2. The only other One Piece character I can see them putting over him is Doflamingo. And the reason why I say this is because he's still a very popular One Piece character. I was very surprised that they didn't put him into the base roster. But I can understand considering Black Dead is like the future of the series and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's like Doflamingo still has a chance, but I feel like Karakuri's chances are much, much higher. Realistically, in my eyes, he is the One Piece character that they're gonna go with for season two. The next character on my prediction list that I feel like we're gonna get for season two is Sarada Uchiha. And the reason why is because we already have Boruto in the game and not to mention the Boruto manga and anime have been doing very well in terms of popularity in terms of sales in terms of viewership and it would make sense to throw in Sarada along with Boruto because she's of the the daughter of Sasuke Uchiha who is the rival of Naruto not to mention she is the most popular Boruto character besides Boruto himself so I can definitely see them add it, adding in Sarada not to mention you know her moves would work really well for this game so I feel like she is going to be the next Naruto character to be DLC for season 2. And the next character on my prediction list is Android 17 which I know a lot of people don't really see it happening because Android 17 isn't as popular as other Dragon Ball characters also I know a lot of people are probably expecting a Dragon Ball Super character like Broly or Jiren or even even someone like Topo or Kefla but I, the reason why I don't feel like we're gonna get any super characters is because super isn't part of Weekly Shonen Jump you know none of these characters originate from the original Dragon Ball manga like Piccolo, so Freeze or like yeah they've got their transformations like Golden Freeze and Super Saiyan Blue those transformations are just a part of those characters you know they're not you know it's not it's not the same thing you know character and a transformation you know what I mean it's like Realistically, they're gonna give us another Dragon Ball Z character, and 
The only other Dragon Ball Z character I, I, I can see them giving us is 17. There is Gohan, but his outfits are already in the game. The outfit he wore when he fought so as a teenager, and the outfit, you know, he wears, which is basically Goku's outfit that he wore when he fought Boo. So I don't feel like he's going to get in just because of that, not to mention his moveset wouldn't be very unique, you know. And um, there's also Android 18, her outfit, which she wore during the Tournament of Power and the one that she wore for the very first time in the Android Saga. Just because of that, I don't feel like we're going to get her in the game either. So I feel like Android 17 is the most likely choice. It's either going to be him or probably Tien, but I don't see them adding in Tien because Tien would feel kind of random. Android 17 is a character that I feel has the best chance of getting in to jump for season 2 from the Dragon Ball series and no one else besides again maybe TN but again his chances don't feel as high as 17's in my opinion. Okay the next character on my list is Yuno from Black Clover. As you know Aster is the only Black Clover character in this game currently and you know you got Deku with two other characters you know all might and bakugo so i feel like they will give us at least one black clover dlc character and you know is the most likely he is Asta's rival he is you know he's basically the sasuke of black clover if you know that makes sense he's basically like the other protagonist if you know what i mean and the only other character i can see them putting over you know is yami because he's he's basically like the, probably the most popular character right next to you know in the black clover series so i wouldn't be surprised if they chose to put yami over you know but i feel like you know just has a better chance just because he has a bigger fan base you know he's more popular i don't see no well making it in but yeah i feel like you know's chances of getting in over the other black clover characters for jump force is it's very good it's very good but, um on to the final character that i feel like they're gonna add for Jump Force Season 2 and that's Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho. Hiei has been a very heavily requested character literally before the game even came out like as soon as they announced Hunter Hunter characters and then Yusuke and Taguro people were literally asking for Hiei. People were like where's Hiei? Is he gonna be in the game? You know what I mean? Hiei is a very popular character in Weekly Shonen Jump which is why I was very surprised to see that he didn't make it into the base roster all season one DLC so I feel like I feel like Bandai are going to give us Hiei this time for season two. The only the only other character I can see that would take Hiei's place or Yuno's place even is Tanjiro Komodo from Mitsu no Yaiba that, but that's only if they decide to add in new series but I don't feel like they're going to add in new series for Jump Force especially since they could just say new series for the sequel and whatnot which is why I feel like if they do decide to add in new series then it'll be it'll be Tanjiro instead of either Yuno or Hiei I feel like more likely Hiei just because Asta's all by himself he, there's no other Black Clover rep besides him in the game while my hero sits up three reps currently in the game. But um, yeah, that's all I've got to say for this uh, DLC prediction list. Um, I just want to say that this is, you know, my opinion. So if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. You know, let me know who you think we're going to get for Season 2 in the comments down below. I'm curious. I'm, I read all comments and... I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of this video, this prediction list, and also who you guys think we're going to get for Season 2 DLC this year. Again, I hope we get more than five characters. I also hope, I just want to also make it clear this isn't a wish list. This is, you know, like I already said, a prediction list. You know, obviously, my prediction list and my, um, Wish lists are very different. If you see my wish list, then you already know. But if you haven't, I will have a link to my wish list in the description below, so you can check that out. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, this is your boy King Mamsy. Take care and peace.